Hello everybody, this is Jorge Sejia, just uh, getting back home after being gone for about 12 days and as usual I have a few models waiting for me here uh, but these two that I'm holding in my hands right now are particularly special so I want to show them to you and talk about them a little bit. The uh, first one that I'm going to talk about is this uh, Concord in the uh, British Airways Lander Library by uh, Gemini Jets. A very old release that I just recently got uh, from, uh, from the uh, Waffle collection sale that I believe is still going on uh, right now as we speak. But uh, man, I'm telling you, um, this is uh, right now, or it probably was, <laughs> um, now that I have it, uh, the most uh, wanted model that I had in my list of models that, you know, uh, older re releases that I really uh, uh, wanted to get and that I had been chasing around uh, for a while. So I'm really happy that I uh, finally got it. Uh, let me uh, grab my camera here. Okay, and I'm back. Um, of course, I had to uh, stop the previous video and start recording a new one to change the uh, orientation of my uh, iPhone uh, camera. But, uh, you know, here it is. You can see it's a little bit uh, dusty and it has a couple of uh, paint chips. One right here on the tip of the tail and one here on the nose. So it, it actually uh, uh, looks better uh, when seen from this from this side. Uh, really nice and none the least. I am um, really happy with it and I'm sure I'm gonna be able to fix those uh, two little things that I just uh, showed you. But um, yeah, um, you know, uh, recently I did, uh, I posted on my blog uh, the, uh, the top five of, uh, of the uh, models in my collection and number two was a, a British Airways uh, 747 in the uh, Landor Library and, and I, I wrote uh, a little bit about uh, why this library is so uh, special and, and why you know it, it, I like it so much it, it kind of means a lot to me though it's kind of hard to find um, this model I think I came across two of these on eBay over the years but you know they um, uh, they went uh, for a price higher than what I was willing to pay uh, then I missed out on one that came came up on a on a, a waffle collection sale about a year ago. Uh, so uh, yeah, really happy to get this one. It's funny though. I was uh, <laughs> I was just getting done uh, after a long night about two weeks ago, getting ready to go to sleep when I got the uh, collection sale email really early in the morning from Waffle. Um, there it was, you know. Uh, you know how it is with uh, with a waffle. Um, you gotta be quick though, because the uh, the really sought after models like this one. You know, a lot of people get those emails and they really fly off the shelves. But uh, yeah, I guess I got lucky. Okay, um, I guess I'm done <laughs> showing you the model and telling you how excited I am with it. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, just to finish here, uh, the underside um, looks good, you know. Um, I mean, there is a lot of uh, detail here, and um, it's a, uh, you know, the uh, as expected, I guess. <laughs> the underside of the model uh, is is very well preserved. So, uh, yeah, um, expect an an update. Um, not really sure if I'm gonna keep making this uh, this uh, videos. But you know uh, where to find me. I'm gonna be either on one of the uh, Facebook uh, collecting uh, groups or uh, one of the uh, forums. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna fix this up. Basically, just you know, uh, a couple of uh, uh, paint spots there. 
and I'm definitely <laughs> gonna be taking a lot of uh, uh, pictures. Um, maybe, uh, yeah, I definitely will uh, write something up about the uh, Landor Library and my Landor collection. Not really sure when I'm gonna get around to that. Um, as it is, I'm squeezing this <laughs> right now because, like I said, you know, I just came back from uh, being gone 12 days, and that means there is a huge list of stuff that I need to do, and that doesn't include playing uh, playing around with uh, scale models. But you know, yeah, gotta have some fun. Okay, <laughs> now let me go and find that that other model that I also wanted to uh, talk about a little bit. Okay, and the uh, second model that I wanted to talk about, this one kind of caught me by surprise because I didn't really expect it to be this uh, nice and special, honestly. Um, it's the uh, Aerolíneas Argentinas Airbus A330-200 that brought the uh, the national selection team with the World Cup uh, back from uh, Qatar to uh, Argentina, um, you know, this uh, this past uh, December when, the, uh, when Argentina won the... Uh, uh, Qatar 2022 uh, World Cup. And you know, the truth is, I've never been a huge sports follower, but I do I do enjoy uh, watching the World Cup. Um, it's always been fun since I was a kid, you know, uh, growing up in Venezuela. It was always a huge party when it was going on. And um, at the same time, in Latin America, we, uh, you know, uh, Brazil and Argentina, we... Uh, We've always uh, recognized them as the uh, local uh, superpowers, so to speak. So I, I really particularly enjoyed the uh, Qatar 2022 World Cup. We had a good time here. You know, my wife, she's a really huge uh, sports fan. So uh, it was it was fun. We were really looking forward to uh, to watching the games. Um, and it was really exciting to see Argentina uh, win the World Cup, you know? So... Um, I didn't have any issues getting this model. I mean, I, I knew um, when it was when it was released, I knew I was gonna get it. But um, um, let me uh, let me see if I can get it out of the box here and show you. Okay, and um, uh, you know, I, I wasn't sure if I, if I was gonna take it out of the box right now because I don't have a whole lot of time, honestly. And um, um, I you know, with the special uh, models that I really like, like this one, I I like to wait. Uh, until the uh, moment is right uh, to open it, but uh, uh, here it is. <laughs> and, you know, it took some time to get it, get it out of the uh, the, the cradle. Uh, it was particularly tight and snug, which is good, you know, um, keeping the uh, model uh, very well protected. But uh, as I was saying, um, I knew I was going to get it for sure, but I didn't really expect it to be such a nice, uh, especially the uh, the box artwork. It was actually a design uh, by a guy that I, I don't know who he is, but uh, by his name, I, I believe he's uh, from uh, Argentina. Uh, you can see a Luis uh, Bianchi box design. So uh, I already showed you the box, but uh, they they really did um, a good job at designing it to capture the importance of this uh, uh, commemorative event that it is, you know? So. Uh, that's what really uh, struck me when I came back home and saw the box. I'm like, man, this is uh, really special. And I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this uh, airplane, uh, the model, online. Um, but I, I went and did a quick search, and it's uh, already sold out, as as I would as you would expect. You know, it's um, really nice. Um, <laughs> you know. I, yeah, Phoenix, they, they have good things. Uh, if you don't have any uh, Phoenix uh, models in your collection and uh, you uh, participate on the uh, Facebook groups and uh, on the forums, uh, I'm sure the uh, the one thing you know about Phoenix is that their 747 sucks and <laughs> uh, as well as their uh, A300. <laughs> and that's uh, true to some extent, but they do have a lot of uh, good things also. Um, they make a really nice Airbus uh, line of products. Their uh, their boxes are usually really nice as it is the case with uh, this one. And yeah, I have, a, I have a handful of Phoenix uh, models in my collection and they are all uh, very special, including this one. 
Um, I haven't checked the library for accuracy, so I hope everything is right. But uh, regardless, you know, it's, it is a nice model. And uh, so, yeah, you know, I, I know uh, JC Wings also announced this. But man, I don't know. Uh, you know, JC Wings is one of those uh, future releases. So who knows? The thing might come out six months from now or a year from now. And this kind of a special, uh, the, you know, libraries uh, regarding a special events, you, you gotta capture it in the moment, in my opinion. Um, so uh, yeah, kudos to Phoenix for doing that. And I think, remove my gloves here. I think that's it for now, guys. So uh, yeah, um, you know, just a quick video, uh, just, just to kind of um, go through everything that I wanted to go through and share it with you. And, um, but but I'll, I'll, you know, do something a little bit more organized here soon. I'll, I'll, I'll come back and show you uh, some uh, really cool uh, close-up uh, pictures of these models for you to appreciate. And uh, yeah, you know, as usual, I might write something up about them or something like that, you know. I really don't want to touch this one with my bare hands right now, but um, uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and we'll see you around. See you next time.